Uh, hello, I'm Bob Simons. I'm uh, going to spend a few minutes uh, telling you about uh, KNC testing, how it uh, relates to uh, SEMA and the uh, vehicle dynamics uh, work that they're doing. So briefly, I will uh, give you an introduction to Morse measurements, tell you exactly what KNC testing is, and go through some of the applications of KNC testing. So this is a type, first we'll talk about Morse measurements. Uh, we're a small engineering company. We opened our facility in Salisbury, North Carolina in 2005. Uh, we're actually the only independent provider of KNC testing in North America. Uh, there are a number of KNC test streets in North America, of course, but they're all located at tire companies or at automakers. Uh, we operate something called a suspension parameter measurement machine. Uh, this is a commercially available K and C test machine produced by Anthony Best Dynamics in the UK. Uh, as an independent company with no manufacturer affiliations, we can ensure complete confidentiality of your data and projects. And we've developed a, a wide range of clientele and test a lot of different types of vehicles. So. Being in North Carolina, of course, we see a lot of NASCAR vehicles from Sprint Cup to Nationwide to Truck Series. Uh, we see Indy cars, uh, cars from the Grand Am and American Le Mans Series, as well as production OEM projects, uh, UTVs, and of course, uh, aftermarket uh, related companies and products. So what is this thing called K and C testing? Uh, basically what we're doing is a specialized form of vehicle suspension testing. So you can see in these photographs uh, the vehicle goes up on a large test rig. Uh, it's actually attached to a movable center table. That center table is displaced in vertical bounce, pitch, and roll uh, to simulate on-road motion. Uh, we apply realistic loads at the tire contacts on this rig so we can apply cornering loads, braking loads, tractive loads, or combinations thereof. And we're making measurements of the forces as well as wheel center motion, steer, and camber. So uh, since this is a type of test that maybe uh, some of you haven't heard about, I, I think we need to take some time defining uh, the term K and C. So K stands for kinematics, and this is the suspension geometry, so how the suspension moves as kind of a series of rigid linkages. The C is for compliance. So here we're looking at suspension stiffness, so we're interested in how everything flexes and bends under load. If you put these two components together, geometry plus stiffness, you get KNC, Kinemax and compliance, and this gives you a complete picture of the behavior of the suspension. So that kind of defines what it is. So what are the applications? What do we do with it? Um, one of the applications that you're going to hear about uh, and you've heard about some, we'll hear about more, is of course simulation. So whether you're doing uh, kind of a standalone simulation or a hardware in the loop simulation, this data, the K and C data, uh, defines the behavior of the suspension in the vehicle dynamics model. So you need good, accurate data for your vehicle in order to get good results from your model. Um, I think you'll hear more about that from some of the other speakers. What I thought I would do is hit a couple other areas uh, in addition to simulation. And one area you can use KNC testing for is in marketing, surprisingly. Uh, you can validate your suspension performance claims with real measured data. So you can make a statement about the performance of your product uh, and have data to support it. So as an example, we did a little project where we took a Miata, we measured the stock suspension, we put a suspension kit on it, and then we measured it that way, and we learned a great deal about 
the kind of performance improvement in the suspension. One of those is the vehicle roll under cornering. And so in that little graph, the blue line is the uh, original car and the red one is with the suspension kit. So we could substantiate with data that we had 33% less body roll with the suspension kit. So another application of KNC testing would be in engineering your products. So you can use this data to validate your design intent as well as your build quality. You can also use this form of testing to develop new and improved products, try new things, and see uh, what kind of results you can get. So in addition, you can also benchmark your competitors' products, uh, understand what they're doing and how their product works and what are its uh, pros and cons. So whether you're testing a Ferrari or working with a full-size truck, uh, K&C testing can be used to uh, help you understand and improve the suspension.